Today is the first official day of our project truck camper conversion build. The first thing that is going to be done today is the carpet is going to be laid down. Uh, that will give it, it's an indoor outdoor carpet, that will help insulate it a little bit. Um, not much, but it just makes it look a lot nicer and it will help a little bit with some insulation so it's not just bare fiberglass. So that is what's going to happen today. I cannot help. It is going to be my brother-in-law um, and my husband and they're going to do it because I had a small medical procedure done the other day and I'm not allowed to do anything for a few days so I can't do any lifting stretching bending anything like that really bad so the guys are gonna do it and I'm just gonna film um, by the time the next step happens I will be able to help again so I'm looking forward to that but today I'm just gonna take it easy watch the guys do some filming so I'm going to try to leave this as I know it's gonna be probably a little long but I'm trying to leave it as step by step as possible because I want you to be able to see what it's like to cover a camper shell. Sometimes a lot of people will really chop it up or speed it up too much and you can't see what's actually going on. Um, but I'm going to try to leave this DIY series as DIY as possible so you can follow along and they're going to get out there and get started. Yeah, one of those rolls is going to be for covering the bed platform in the middle aisle. Yeah. Because I think it's only going to take two to cover everything. I think, I think so too. Are you already cutting? No, no, we're just putting down tape. Oh, okay. We're gonna start gluing. Cause in just a second. Okay, cause I was gonna. Uh, no, I, I thought you were gonna wait until after we eat. Cause I was gonna say if. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, Cause I want to be able should. to get in there. Okay. So let's wait until after we eat to actually start it. Yeah. Well then, well then let's just border all the windows right now. That's fine with me. Okay. Uh. I don't think this is going to take very long once we start going. Okay, so you're taping up the window edges. Why? Uh, just to keep the glue off of it and for less cleanup. Okay. Basically, um, like, because the carpet's going to stop. The carpet's going to stop right there in that in that corner. Basically, like taping up for no overspray for paint. Now, is that going to affect it, the way you're putting it down, is that going to affect it when I take off the frame to replace the screen? Because I have to take the frame, I'm going to have to unscrew the top of the frame to We're replace the screen. the carpet right up to the, the frame. Okay. It's that top rim, see where all the screws are underneath yeah. it? It's that top rim that has to come no, off. It's just, we'll just butt up to the carpet. Okay. We'll, we'll, but, we'll just butt, butt up to, yeah, to instead of going right there. Then. Instead of overlapping. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we'll turn it right there. Because we're going to put some new screens in it, too. You probably just use that like a screen door. 
Peace. We're gonna get some stuff called, uh, that's called uh, no seams. Where do you get them from? Amazon. Uh, yeah, Amazon. It's very, very, very is, fine. Is that mesh. what it's for? It's for, yeah, it's, for, it's, for, it's for kicking out very small bugs, right? Yeah, ones that are even smaller than mosquitoes that can get in and bite it's you. It's a name, no seam. Yeah. Is that wet? Where? I mean, the camper, or is it just that coloration? Oh, no, 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 no. no. Uh, that's just the color of the top of glass. Okay. Do you think it's going to adhere to all that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is very poor stuff. It, it's, okay. it's a rough texture, so it should, I mean, we don't even got to sand it. Okay. But we'll have to sw sweep it out a little bit. But, yeah. uh, no, it's got enough of a porous texture to where it'll stick. I think the carpet's going to look really freaking it's good. It's going to look good. It's going to look real good. Yeah. This is what we are going to use. This is what they are going to use to spray it down. It is the 3M High Strength 90 Contact Adhesive. We got two cans because I didn't want them to have to run to the store if one can wasn't enough. So if they only use one can, then one can can go back to the store. We'll save it for a future project. Or pulled oh. way too much for that. Let me tell you this. If we're, if we're uh, make your spine tingle one, tell you this. You know that uh, coverall I have at work, the one with the broken zipper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had for years and years. Yeah. I was working on the Land Rover the other day. About 20 degrees out there. The thing had been sitting on the body shop table in the corner for about a year with all, all the dust in it. Oh God. Don't tell me there's a spider in it. I open it up and there's a nest of giant spiders. <gasps> Oh my what did God. I do? <laughs> I took a broomstick and threw that thing in the garbage. <laughs> I'm getting another one. <laughs> oh, that freaked you out. Oh, it I, would, it, I froze. I would have died. Big ones. I would have died. Oh, that one. Oh, I would have had a heart attack. Oh, I did. And so I took the broomstick and pushed it into the garbage. <laughs> I would have had a heart attack. I am not I don't touching. blame you. <laughs> it'll give me a good excuse to buy a new one. Yeah. I would have had a I don't blame oh, you for I, that. I did have a heart attack. It scared me. Jeez Louise. How close were you to it? Right up to it. I mean, it was on the table. I was unfolding it. There that thing was. I mean, there's a few. <laughs> okay, they are fixing to start gluing it down. One to three coats. These sitting out in the sun has actually helped. Yep. Loosen it yeah, up. Yeah, loosen it up. I hope you're in frame because the sun is so bright I can't see the screen. Okay. Well, All right. <clears throat> let's pull. Let's pull back to where you are. Let's start in the middle and work out. Is that loose dirt or is that the stuff that you sanded off? It's fine. I mean, there's very, very little. I was talking about the black, stuff. the old black spots on the <laughs> fiberglass. Well, just yeah, it's, it's it's stuck to it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go about there on that ridge. All right. I hope this stuff works good. Is it, uh... Woo! It smells. Does it have a heat? Is it... It's a, to heat? <clears throat> it's, yeah, it's, it's hot. High strength. Alright, let's let, let it tack up. Tack up. Moisture and heat resistant. Alright, Ian. Grab one corner here and i get this corner. So we're going to keep it tight. Right. Okay, let's yeah, start pushing it right there now. There we go. And if, if we got a gap somewhere, you can always fill it in. We'll just fill it in like right there. That's going to be a bit of a gap, so we'll just fill it in. I'd rather have the parts that you see nice. <clears throat> Okay, let's get this part. Dude, 
And you can probably get it better from that end. <coughs> Well, that's a thing. Okay. Here, here, let me play some on the car carpet side. And that little gap right there, we'll just trim it once we, probably off of that end right there, once we... I thought you were going to go all the way up to the... Well, it's kind of hard to get up to the ends of both the side and the front windows because... Oh, okay, I see. Well, it's yeah. okay. That's why we got extra, so we could patch. Yep. And, yeah, and it'll only flex so much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's sticking pretty good. I can... Yeah, look at that. Good. <clears throat> I'm just grateful it's a sunny day for I once. Too. That's why we're trying to take advantage of it because next week's going to be rainy too. Hang on. You should have hit it with a shop vac first, babe. Yeah, well. I'll get the carpet after you're done with that part. <laughs> I thought it stuck to it. <laughs> that would have sucked. Let me start right here. I guess let's push this little seam yeah. down right here first. Okay. Where'd you get the carpet from? Uh, Home Depot, Home De right? Home Depot. Eight, Eighteen dollars a roll. Not bad. No, it's not. Where it tries to wrinkle up. If you just put a slit with a box yeah, cutter, you should be able to lay it down. Slit it. Let me put okay. some slits in it. Okay, that's better. My knees start to hurt. Get in here. Yeah, I'm getting warm though. This is where the hard part is trying to get in the corners. Let that dry for a second. Then we'll finish out this side right here. With y'all leaning on it and, and kneeling on it, you should be uh, sticking it down oh, pretty darn yeah. good. Oh, yeah. it, it's not coming up. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look nice. I think so, too. It's going to look real nice. We'll do this side. My shadow's in the way. I'm trying to show what you're doing. But... Just trying to let it tack up a little bit. <clears throat> So how are you going to cut the um, for the light? I would just do an X yeah. to open yeah, it up. That's, like, uh, that, uh, that's exactly yeah. what you do. Then you cut the flaps. That's exactly okay. what you do. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
Getting to the end of that can, or is it because it's yeah, spraying it's upside just, down? Because I've upside down. How the wind start? What's also nice about this, it'll be easy to vacuum, mm -hmm. shop vac. Yeah. Um, are you going to lay that down before you cut the X to open that up? Wouldn't that make a bubble on the other side? Lay that down with you. Huh? Have you, you haven't cut the X in the carpet yet. Uh -uh. So if you lay it down on the other side, isn't that going to cause a bubble before you open it up? Yeah, let's go ahead and cut the X. Because I know you sprayed on the, uh, on the other side of that. Yeah, I did. Trim it all out once it's pulled tight. Yeah. It's cold. And I will one number I've seen my option. They call it. They make you go if there's a wall you have to go underneath. To exit the pool, you got to swim underneath this wall. They call it. All the obstacles have their little names. They all got little text names. This one's called the Shriveled Ripper.
cheap blades. Hold that part up right there. like the picture of Quinn sitting in the sink the other day. <laughs> he just sitting there just looking up at the ceiling just yeah. doing his thing. I love that cat. That cat makes me happy. He is a handful but he's worth it. <sighs> That's a tough carpet cut. Is it? I would. I thought it would have been easy because it's kind of thin. Like let's old, save the well, big. Let's save a, the big scrap pieces. Yeah. It's got almost like a solid oh, packing on yeah. it. So okay. it, it's not very. It's a lot like the old type carpet. It. it well, I say it's tough. It just stalls the blades quick. It's not tough to cut. It's just a blade doesn't last long. Well, it's a good thing that it came with a bunch of extra blades. That's, that's uh -huh. exactly why I got it. I think you're good enough to just go ahead and glue it. Yeah, we can go ahead and glue this. Yeah, one. I think so too. I'm gonna start there. Well, no, I'll use the rest of this one. I mean, this one's almost out. How hot does that? Okay, I'm gonna have to unscrew. not as as tough as, as I thought it was gonna be it's cutting the patch pieces that I think will be the harder part it won't be hard to just be Tease. slow time-consuming yeah but it was all they had available actually I'm gonna cut it I don't think I can get the knife yeah, in cut, that corner cut along this edge right so I'm gonna here. cut along that edge and we'll glue it on the side yep Wow. Got, That'll be I've got one out. building up too. <laughs> That'll be edited out. <laughs> I was up at the toolbox the other day and I ripped a massive one. <laughs> Damn what man <laughs> Tell you what Dan said to the waitress at Huddle House. Oh, Probably God. so. A couple weeks tell me. ago. Maybe about five months ago. We get <laughs> not to choke my food and, and laugh at the same time. I told Michael that we saw his girl at Twin Peaks. <laughs> Mo was giving me shit about that the other day. Hey, who, who's going to get her number? She's ridiculously hot. Was no. he really? We can pull the tape off of yep. this side now. Look, ah, it's tearing. Get. 
I got the uh, Bionio bacon burger. Oh, that burger I got the uh, quesadilla. So that burger is amazing. It is, huh? The quesadillas, I've never had one, but I've tried yet. Oh, they okay, hang on, let me see, what this, see if it's any different. So one of the cans that we have actually didn't spray and they had to take it back to Lowe's and then they didn't have any more of what we were using so they got a different kind. So we're hoping that it works just as good, if not better. Sometimes you yeah, gotta roll with the take punches. A couple more minutes, so we won't push the stuff, uh, push the carpet immediately on. It takes a couple, a couple more minutes. Whoa! God, leave that wind is cold. I know. And I'm out here in shorts like a mook. I like the way the other one sprays better. Yeah, yeah that comes out too. More of a web pattern. Yeah, that's this too one, too tight of a string. This one's too direct. There we go. Oh, that's not too bad. There we go. It's got a high pressure sprayer. It's gonna empty out faster, so mm -hmm. we better be careful. Yep. Be very liberal. With it. What was the price comparison with that and the other one? This was a couple bucks more. I, I, I'm sure that'd be fine. Contact cement, you don't need much. Mm -mm. It, it, and this one takes a couple more minutes to tack up, so we'll let it breathe for a couple minutes. <clears throat> then we'll start going up the sides. Yeah, cutting, trimming gaps, m making your um little spots. Mm-hmm. Like little gaps like that. Yeah, we, little patches. We fill, fill in. Well, actually, we might want to wait to fill in those patches. We can do that on the truck. I'm just saying it might be easier to do the windows first before we fill the gaps. Yeah, probably would be. Okay, I need some on the edge right there, right here. Real quick, we need a monkey moment. This has been your monkey moment. <laughs> Good girl. Okay, I'm taking the measuring tape out here because we're going to measure and see how long of a rod we need to replace the locking rod that goes across the back window. It's going to have to go from inside to inside, right? Um, the rod is two pieces, so you'll want to oh. start in the middle and go a little bit past it would be better to get too long than not long well, enough so probably we need to make sure that it doesn't go past this though so you need to see how how deep this is too right what is it not latching good no the, there are no rods there are none oh there is no okay golly that wind is brutal so probably about 34 inch two 34 inch rods okay Anywhere around there. Okay, now they're going to start trying to figure this out. I thought it was going to wrap. It is. Okay. Uh, we can probably do, do that good. from from here to there. Do do all of this in one piece. Okay. Yeah, let's put the straight straight as that. Uh huh. So uh -huh. yeah, you take that in. So what are you doing right there? I'm trying to cut out some of the uh, wrinkles. Doing a pie cut. We'll go ahead and glue that section down so when we put the other half in, it won't be moving around. Oh, okay. We're gonna do all the big pieces first and then just fill in the little gaps. Okay. 
I don't like that stuff as much. I don't like the way it sprays. Uh -uh. Actually, hang on, Michael. This won't be so bad. What, what we can do? Let's see. No, it needs to be longer because when you once you yeah, folded that in, yeah, that's, that's why I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna still cut it a little bit big. Yeah, I'm just gonna in cut case. It on the outside, right yeah, there. Yeah, that'll work. I can't believe some people do this with it on the truck upside down. That would oh, be such uh, a pain. No, right there in the headliner. Yeah. Stretch, Mike. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, this one's the way where we need to be already, so. Uh, I guess go ahead and spray it from there. And then we'll here hold this flap. Where is that? Then we'll, then we'll do this part.
Okay, so they're done for the day. Matt is fixing to get the shop back, and he's going to get all the grass and stuff that they've tracked in here out. And after he vacuums it, they are going to put it back on the truck. Now, I'm climbing in here because I haven't had a chance to sit in here with the carpet, and I want to say that I sat on the ceiling at least once. <laughs> it actually feels Ooh, nice. this is nice. Yeah. Yeah, too bad this part doesn't go on the bottom. Um... But the stuff like this, this will be patched with the camper on the actual truck because this is going to be this right, all up here. That's going to be patched after because I'm going to have to take the um, frame off in order to replace this screen. So once the screen is replaced, then we can finish doing all the patchwork. But I better get out of here so he can vacuum. Oh, Windows are done. That does look good. Yeah, this looks so it looks better than I thought it would. Once it the really gaps are done, does. it'll look even uh, better. Yeah, but boy, this it makes a big difference, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look as old and raggy. Huge difference. I yeah. Mean, it looks clean. Yeah, once we finish those gaps, it's going to be awesome. It's going to look good. Yeah. Now, I'm, yeah. now I'm pumped it's, up with it. I'm very pumped. There's a lot of little adjustments that have to be made with this since this isn't hey, really for our year. Uh, it doesn't really fit, but it does. Like, there shouldn't be this wide of a gap right. here. But hey, right. you know what? Right we can clean the windows this way. So, as long as it seals up, that's all that matters. Thanks for watching. That actually was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It went a lot easier, except for uh, during one time they actually had to go back to the store and return some adhesive because the nozzle didn't work and they even tried to change it out and that didn't happen. And so then they got to the store, they didn't have the uh, adhesive anymore, so they had to buy a different kind and it sprays weird. So, you know, things. nothing is ever straightforward and easy. There's always some kind of snag no matter how prepared you try to be beforehand but that's just all part of doing diy projects and like i said we're new at this now matt does have experience putting in headliners because of the type of work that he does he restores classic cars for a living so they're not completely going into this blind but doing a truck camper is new to us and using the indoor outdoor carpet for it instead of headliner material is new to Matt so it behaves differently so it was interesting to to watch them get it done and the I was going to film the truck camper going back on the truck but my neighbor said no 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 because I don't look very good today <laughs> So I was like, okay, but the neighbors had to help put it back on because it is extremely heavy and I couldn't, I can't lift anything. I can't help. So i um, grateful to our neighbors for, for helping out and grateful to my brother-in-law for coming and helping. I, I, I wanted to help do this, but like I said, I'm not allowed to. And we have had every weekend has been raining. This is the first weekend in a long time it hasn't rained, so we need to get on the things that need to be done when it's not raining while it's not raining. So, and next weekend it's going to rain again. So, I don't know exactly what we're going to be able to accomplish next weekend, um, but we're going to do something. We're going to try to start working on this every weekend until the project is done. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure that you follow this series. It's going to be on its own playlist. I think I called it truck uh, conversion DIY or something. And it's also in my DIY playlist. I put it in two different playlists just in case. So follow along and uh, let me know down below if you've ever done truck camping before, if you're interested in truck camping or what kind of camping you like to do. So thanks for watching. This is Aloha Laura saying go out and find your own adventure and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.